In this video, I'm talking about what I think is the absolute best investing strategy. Now I'm gonna be applying it specifically to crypto, but this works for stocks as well. This strategy takes all of the guesswork out of investing and sets you up for future success. So what is this magical, mystical strategy, you ask? Well, it's DCA or dollar cost averaging. Okay, so first off, what is dollar cost averaging? Well, I'm glad you asked. Simply put, dollar cost averaging is when you invest a a fixed amount of money on a regular basis, no matter what the price of the asset is that you are investing in, or in this case, the crypto you are investing in. And you do this no matter if the price goes up or down. And even more simply put, let me give you an example. Every single Monday, you buy $100 worth of Bitcoin, no matter if the price of Bitcoin is $19,000 or $25,000. And this is done automatically without any input from you. Investing while you sleep technology. So why is this the best strategy in my opinion? Well, it's proven. It's a proven strategy. It takes emotions out of the equation. It turns you into a cold, calculated, killing, I mean, investing machine. If you rely on yourself to manually make investing decisions, you'll choose times when it feels right instead of times when it actually is right. People see hype and then they buy. People see low prices and they don't. It's just human nature. And when you use dollar cost averaging, you buy without even thinking about it. When you use dollar cost averaging, especially during a bear market, you all of a sudden expose yourself to potentially insane opportunity. And what exactly do I mean by that? Well, let me show you with some maths. And we're going to do that by looking at two different scenarios. One scenario will be where you buy during a bull market, where everybody is excited and they're online picking out what color Lamborghini they're going to buy. And in the second scenario, where you're buying during a bear market, when everyone around you is telling you that crypto is dead or that crypto is all one big scam. And in these scenarios, let's say you buy $17 worth of crypto every single day, which works out to a little over $500 per month being invested into crypto. $510 to be exact, which is roughly the amount of money I started with when I started on my crypto journey. Or, you know, pick any amount you want. The calculations will work out to roughly the same thing. Now, let's say you did this $17 per day investing thing through the entire recent bull market, all the way from October 2020 until today. If you did that, you would have invested $11,000 in total over that two year period. And if you had been investing in Bitcoin while doing that, you would have accumulated 0.33 Bitcoin or about $7,280 at today's value, meaning you'd be at a 33% loss right now. Now let's say you did that same scenario, but during the last bear market, invested $17 per day, from January of 2018 until September of 2020. During that time, you would have invested a total of $16,580. And in this scenario, you would have accumulated 2.37 Bitcoin in total, or $27,710 at today's price a gain of 67%. Now, if we look at those same accumulation numbers, but we view it through the lens of Bitcoin's previous all-time high of $69,000, nice. Nice. You would have accumulated $22,700 worth of Bitcoin uh, during the bull run, so a little more than doubling your money. But the bear market math is even more amazing. Accumulating through the bear market, you would have accumulated $163,000 worth of Bitcoin if you had done the dollar cost averaging through the last bear market. Or a cool 883% gain. Very nice. And it's the same story for Ethereum. So let's take a look at that. Again, investing $17 a day into crypto, or in this case, Ethereum, for the entire recent bull market would be about $11,000 total invested. And during that time, you would have accumulated 7.43 Ethereum, which at today's price is worth a little over $9,000, AKA a total loss of $1,830. Now let's look at the other scenario where if you had done that same thing, but through the last bear market, so an entire total investment of 16,580 during the bear market, you would have accumulated 77.56 Ethereum, which at today's price is worth $33,790, or a gain of 17,200 
200 or 103 percent return once again let's look at these numbers through the lens of ethereum's previous all-time high of a little over forty eight hundred dollars if you bought all the way through the bull market and ethereum gets back to that all-time high price again you will have accumulated thirty six thousand dollars worth of ethereum or a 229 percent gain and in the scenario where you accumulate through the bear market is even crazier at ethereum's all-time high price you would have accumulated three hundred and thirty seven thousand dollars worth of ethereum or over a two thousand percent gain whoa now let me be very clear here i personally think that dollar cost averaging through the bear and through the bull market is a great idea long term Although right now that bull example doesn't feel so good because everything is down. But eventually in another five or 10 years, even those prices will look low in my opinion. So yes, technically, if you had been dollar cost averaging through this recent bull market, you would be down right now. But again, I believe crypto will recover big. So that loss, that current short term temporary loss will turn into a big win in the future one day. What I'm trying to do here is simply drive the point home that there is huge opportunity if you dollar cost average during a market like this, a bear market. All right, now that I've driven that point home, get inside the house point, you're making a fool out of yourself. That's a very bad joke and a big stretch. So now you're probably thinking, I want a piece of that action. So what do I do next? Well, the first piece of action that you can take right now is to smash that like button. In doing so, you really help out this video, get more views and more eyes on it. So I really do appreciate it. It costs you nothing and it means a lot to me. And if you're watching this and you like what I have to say, or you like this video and you haven't subscribed, consider doing that as well. Okay, now let me actually tell you how to do this strategy. Well, there are three methods that I wanna share with you that I really like for doing this strategy. Method number one is KuCoin. KuCoin is an exchange I use every single day because I'm dollar cost averaging on it every single day and I really like the platform. Some of the advantages of KuCoin is that there's a huge number of cryptocurrencies that you can buy and therefore dollar cost average into. And as I'm about to show you, it's very easy to set up a dollar cost average bot so it does it for you while you sleep. Another big bonus of KuCoin is there's no KYC required, meaning you don't need to verify your identity if you don't want to, as long as you're okay with a maximum per day transfer limit of $1. Bitcoin or at today's price about $22,000 worth. Another big advantage of KuCoin is they have really, really low trading fees. And in fact, if you use my link down in the description to sign up, you get 20% off of all your trading fees forever. So those trading fees that are already small get even tinier. Now, the main downside to KuCoin is that uh, they do require KYC if you're going to bring your fiat money into KuCoin. And if you are gonna move fiat onto KuCoin using their method, it is quite a hefty fee to take that fiat and move it over to the KuCoin exchange. So really, I recommend bringing your fiat into the crypto world elsewhere and not use KuCoin, but you can certainly do that if you really want to. And also one other con to this and the others that I will say is that this is a third-party platform. And we've learned recently that third-party platforms present a big risk. So with any of these, I recommend that you use them, but then maybe on a regular, even weekly basis, you remove all your crypto from the platform to a wallet that you control personally, and then you rinse repeat the next week. That's what I'm personally doing, and I think it's a great practice. Keep yourself safe out there, friends. All right, now let me show you how to set up a dollar cost average bot on KuCoin. So once you've signed up for your KuCoin account, you will see the homepage here, and you simply go to trade, go to trading bot, and in my case, it defaults to this pro page, but we're gonna go all the way here to the right where it says classic version, click on that. And then you're gonna be presented with all their bots. The one I use is the dollar cost average bot right here. And it's really easy. You hit create bot, you pick what you want. Let's say we're gonna dollar cost average into Flux, select Flux USDT. We're gonna say the first investment starts now. We're gonna say we're gonna do uh, $10 per day, invest every day. You can do every hour, you can do every two weeks. It's really uh, very customizable. Uh, and the only other thing here is you have to have USDT in your KuCoin. Again, uh, you got to bring fiat into the crypto world, send it to KuCoin, but once you have it in there, it's ready to go. You just hit create, confirm, and there you go. And now you can see all of my dollar cost average bots running right here on the platform. I'm currently putting uh, $100 a day into Kadena, $100 per day into Bitcoin, $50 per day into Ethereum, and then just for some fun, uh, for a little while, putting $15 per day into both 
uh, Sheeb and Doge, and now $10 per day in the flux. And then whenever you are done with your bot, all you have to do is hit this little power button here, and then you tell it what you want it to return your coin as. It's probably gonna be into the coin that you chose and some USDT that's left over. Hit confirm, and then it goes into your account ready to withdraw. It's really as simple as that. And again, if you want to use KuCoin, then use my link in the description to sign up to save even more on your fees. Okay, let's move on to method number two, which is the Strike app. I really love the Strike app, but there is something to be known about the Strike app right off the bat. It is Bitcoin only. So this will only be applicable to you if one, you want a dollar cost average into Bitcoin, or two, if you want a really fast and easy way to bring your fiat money into the crypto world. This is one of my top recommendations. And one of the big reasons why I love Strike is because currently there are no fees across the entire platform. Like I said, it's a great on-ramp for your fiat into the crypto world. Now it does have a restriction of only uh, up to $1,000 uh, per per week of transferring from your bank account. So that works out to $4,000 per month, which is usually more than enough for most people. And once you have your account approved, uh, it's very quick to transact on the platform. Now it does require your identity be confirmed with them. There is KYC, but you're gonna find that with basically any service where you're gonna be taking fiat, from the real world into this magical internet money world. And if you do want to use Strike, check it out. There is a link in the description where when you sign up, you'll get $10 worth of Bitcoin for free. Okay, now let's hop into the Strike app. So the first thing you do is create your account. You're going to sign up. You're going to add a payment uh, method, which is going to be your bank account. Once it's all confirmed, you are ready to go. Now, once you've set up your bank account, you're going to hit deposit. And we're going to do a quick one here of just $50 to try this out. Hit deposit. Hit confirm, and there you go. It's ready to go in your account. Uh, depending on the amount, it might take a little bit longer to be fully verified, but it's pretty fast on the Strike platform. Now we're gonna hit the Bitcoin symbol here. We're gonna look at the bottom of the page here and hit buy. We're gonna say $17. We're gonna go to the one-time purchase part and choose daily instead of a one-time. We're gonna hit next. It's gonna show you exactly how much uh, we're going to buy here $17 daily purchase at the same time every single day. Now we're going to hit confirm. And there we go. Hit the little check mark and we are done. And it will continue buying until it runs out of money in your strike account. So you just got to continually top it off. Now let's jump into the third method, which is Gemini. Now, right off the bat, one big con with Gemini compared to these other two is it has the highest fees by far. However, it is probably the easiest and most accessible of these platforms. And while the fees are higher than the other two, the fees aren't crazy. They're pretty palpable for most people, but just something to be aware of. Now, one of the top reasons to consider Gemini is the fiat on-ramp. It's very easy. It automatically debits from your bank account to do the daily purchases. There's no topping off your account like the other two options. They have tons of options for dollar cost averaging, tons of cryptos you can buy. They have a very easy to use app and web interface. As far as exchanges go, I feel it is a very secure platform, but again, I wouldn't leave your money on any of these for long periods of time. Not your keys, not your coins, so the saying goes. And like the other ones, if you use my link in the description, you will get a kickback of $10 when you sign up. And like the other ones, if you're gonna do fiat to crypto, there is KYC, so you have to be uh, confirmed on your KuCoin with your identity. But when you do give over your identity and you do pay the slightly higher fees, you do get a lot of convenience, so something to consider. All right, now let's jump into the old phone. Let's dive into my phone and let's open the Gemini app. Now again, you'll download the app, you'll create an account, you'll get verified, all this stuff. It takes a little bit of time. It's not an instant up and go kind of a thing. But once you do have it uh, set up um, and you do have your bank account and all that stuff connected to it, uh, you're gonna go to this market tab at the bottom. You're gonna find whatever crypto you're looking for. In this case, we're gonna do Bitcoin. There's a big trade button at the bottom. We're gonna hit trade and then we're gonna hit buy. And then where it says USD balance, we're gonna click on that and we're gonna select our checking account that we've attached. Now, Jim and I does have a daily limit of $15,000 per day, which for most people is very high. So I wouldn't worry about that for most people. But if that's not high enough for you, well then explore their other options of confirmation or wiring money or whatever. So once you've selected which account you're gonna be debiting on a regular basis to do this by, you're gonna select how much, again, $17 per day. We hit continue. Frequency, we're gonna change it from one time buy to recurring. And we're gonna say, Scroll up to daily, confirm, continue, purchase type, buy only, or if you want, uh, if you have this enabled in your account, you can buy and earn interest. 
Um, again, I don't hold my coins on these platforms for long enough for these interest rates to matter. But if you were to, you can earn a little bit of interest on it, but I don't do that. So buy only for me, because I'm gonna take it off the platform weekly. You can see that there is a $1.50 fee per purchase. So again, you might wanna consider on Gemini doing a weekly basis to reduce your fees or do a higher amount to make it more worth it. You swipe to confirm, swipe to confirm, and there we go. The app just shook my hand and hit done. So those are my three methods for doing recurring buys to do a dollar cost averaging strategy. The one I use the most by far is KuCoin, but the other two are great too, in my opinion. But I would love to know if you have favorites or suggestions or something I didn't cover here, let me know down in the comments what you use for dollar cost averaging. And if you are going to be investing during this period, then watch this video where I go into detail about what's currently going on and what to expect as you do so. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.